Hello everyone, how are we doing? We are here on a Sunday morning. Um, yeah, I just it's just been kind of weird this weekend with all of my callback stuff and all of my uh, Mother's Day stuff, doing stuff with kind of both sides of my family here. So this is the time we've got today. I'm, if you're here with me, I really appreciate you. Um, if you recall, last time we were here in Emerald, uh, Cloud had a heroic victory over Brawly's Makuhita using that supersonic and wing attack to great effect. Um, it was a really fun fight, um, a first try victory, um, so that was really, really sick. Um, I was about to say, I still don't know my way around even with it all completely lit up. So now, um, we've defeated Brawly, so we can get into the next portion of the game, which makes me very excited. I think at this point we have fought every trainer we can, um, which is great. And we should see our... Oops, I did not mean to talk to you again, Nurse Joy. There we go. Um... And hopefully we can see our boy Piccolo evolve. We should today. So that's great. I'm going to get Ron up front here because Ron needs some levels. Um, all right. So now we can talk to our friend Mr. Briny here. And now we're going to go ahead to Slateport. Um, we got another beautiful little sailing session. If you look above us here, right there. You see something cool. I think the the route marker kind of blocked it, but there's a cool like ship sitting there. I wonder what that's about. We might explore that later. Okay, Mr. Briny, ahoy! We've made land in Slateport. I suppose you're going to visit Captain Stern and deliver the Devon goods. Him just giving the player a reminder of what they're supposed to do here. And here, I love this little area. We have this cute little beach, um, and as you can see, there's someone kind of hiding under that little under that little umbrella. So there's a double battle waiting there. And there's two right there as well. You can see them kind of hopping up and down. <laughs> um, but we're going to wait for now. We're going to come back and fight some of those people. Um, but I want to get into some of our story stuff right now. Um, oh. Uh, love the slate port theme. Got that those cute little bells going. Look at this. See that little sailboat? Oh, delightful. Okay. So now what we need to do is this is the shipyard. Um, there we go. So let's pop up here and we can talk to this fella. Hmm, if this goes here and that goes over there, then where does this thing go? And what about that doohickey? Arg, I can't make heads or tail of the, tails of this. I'm Doc. Okay. So he's been commissioned to design a ferry, but he doesn't know how to do it. So way to fail upwards, my, my man. All right. Ah, uh, yes. So we can't deliver the Devon goods to here because Captain Stern is somewhere else. Um, and we're going to find out. So um, I kind of talked about my uh, callback a little bit. And... It went pretty well. I did it on Friday. Um, hold on, I'm gonna show you guys what's going on up here. Oh yes, ah, Roxanne. Yes, she's like, I talked to Brawly and he says you're dope. Let me put you in my Pokenav. So now we got Roxanne's number. Love it. Um, so if we go up here, there are these Team Aqua guys blocking the way. What do they even say? Team Aqua's action should bring smiles to people's faces. I don't know about that, man. You guys like to to steal and rob. All right. Steal and rob. Can you believe it? All right, I'm going to save here because I have anxiety. But, uh, yes, as I was saying, my audition went pretty well, my callback. I actually have another one tomorrow, uh, which is great. Um... It's just been, it's been a lot. I've had to learn a lot of songs. I gotta do some dancing at this one, so that'll be nice and interesting. So let's pop in here. And as you can see, there's Team uh, Aqua Grunts 
everywhere. And it's so funny, they're like taking over this place, but we still have to pay $50 to come in here. This guy does not fight us. Ooh, not this guy. This guy. He doesn't fight us, but what are you doing here? I'm the Team Aqua member you thumped before, remember back in Rust Turf Tunnel? Here, take this. You have to forgive me. Oh, very nice. Um, and he gives us, I believe this is the TM for Thief. Um, and then, then he just runs away. Oops, not Pokemon F. I'm gonna check, actually. Um, I believe this is the TM for Thief. Yes, it is. Um, and it can steal a foe's held item, which can be very useful. Um, it's a dark type move. But let's pop over here. So here we have our man. We have our guy, um, Captain Stern. So let's talk to him. If you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Ah, those must be the parts I ordered from Mr. Stone. Ah. But then we run into these here aqua grunts. What? Who are you people? <laughs> uh, shut your yap and fork them over. That is not very polite. Um, but yeah, like I said, it was a good time on Friday. I'm excited to get into it tomorrow. I only have to do a little bit of singing. Um, I'm gonna have to be there a long time, so it's gonna be a long day for me. Oh, hey, JJ, what's going on? Thanks for being here. Um, and this is a cool new Pokemon, Carvana. Um, it's kind of based on, like, a Piranha, which is really cool. It's a Water Dark type. Um, and it has this really interesting ability, Rough Skin, where if you use an attack that does physical damage, like Headbutt, it'll do a little damage to you. Um, a very like a signature ability, really, of this Pokemon. Um, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, good. Rage is fine. Uh, Carvana, like the car company? That is uh, very... Yes, <laughs> pretty much. Um, that's how it sounds, anyway. Let's see. And Carvana is a real... Ooh, Metal Claw. A nice same type attack bonus move for our boy Ron. We'll just get rid of Tackle there. Um, but Carvana's a really, uh, signature Pokemon of Team Aqua, because it's like a sinister water-type Pokemon, which makes a whole lot of sense. A kid beat me! Well, yeah, man. I'm the main character. Come on, now. Um, the boss is gonna be furious. Alright, so we gotta defeat these two Aqua Grunts in a row. With our powerful squad, it shouldn't be too much of a, too much of an issue. Um... I believe this guy just has a Zubat and a Carvana. Ah, Supersonic. We know firsthand the power of Supersonic. Um, let's see. Yes, that's not good. But we'll stay in. Yeah, Leech Life is going to do absolutely nothing to Ron. Maybe one damage? Yep. <laughs> Literally one damage. Oh my gosh. But uh, I'm excited, I'm kind of excited to get into this week at work. Um, not, you know, not overly excited to go to work, but it is my last two weeks at my job. So I am pretty, oh, a critical hit. Do not flinch me. Okay, great. Love it. Um, but yeah, I only have two weeks left at my job until I have the summer off because I work in a school. Let's see, for Carvana, we're gonna pop over to Piccolo. And we're gonna see if he can get to level 16. Ah, uh, not quite. But this'll this will do nicely still. There we go. But yeah, only two weeks left for me. It'll be nice to have some real good time in the summer. We should be able to um, get through some fun games together. There we go and kind of continue my expansion beyond the Pokemon realm, even though I do just love all of these Pokemon games. And like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna play them all, baby. We gonna play them all. Um, all right, so now we're gonna meet an interesting fellow. I love this guy. I came to see what was taking so long to snatch some parts and you simps are held up by a mere child. <laughs> uh, we are Team Aqua and we love the sea. And I am Team Aqua's leader, Archie. What makes you interfere with us? No, you can't be. You're not one of Team Magma. Wait, that can't be, right? You're not dressed for the part. 
Pokemon people, all life depends on the sea, so Team Aqua is dedicated to the expansion of the sea. Don't you agree? What we are doing is a magnificent undertaking. Ah, fine, you're still too young to understand our noble objective, but I warn you, don't even consider interfering with our plans again. The consequences will cost you dearly, and don't you forget it. So Archie lets us off with a warning. For now. For now. Um, okay. So... Captain Stern is just like, thanks for saving the day. And we give him the Devon, the Devon goods. So it's actually really interesting. Um, Archie mentioned Team Aqua there. Oh, we got a nice little heal. Thanks, dog. Um, he mentions, sorry, he mentions Team Magma there. Team Magma is kind of like the, uh, the counterpart team to Team Aqua. And in, uh, we're going to talk to this guy, Scott. Hmm, I'm sure I met you somewhere before. We met him in Petalburg City. Uh, have I introduced myself to you? It's Scott. Ah, so he, we drove Team Aqua away. And he's like, maybe, just maybe this trainer. Hmm. All right. I think you're going to become a good friend. I don't know about that, Scott. So let's register each other in our Pokénavs. Um, Scott is not a character that's in Ruby and Sapphire. They really kind of got to shoehorn him in, in Emerald. Um, so he's just going to keep an eye on the talents of trainers. He's kind of like a trainer scout. And we're going to find out why later. But, like I was saying, in Pokemon Sapphire, Archie and Team Aqua are the evil team that you encounter. But in Pokemon Ruby, Mag Team Magma and their leader are the are the evil team that you encounter. But in Emerald, you encounter them both, and they're kind of like warring with each other. And I actually didn't know this, but it was kind of based on um, something that was going on in Japan at the time, kind of like an environmental rights, um, just kind of butting of heads that was going on with the Japanese government. Um, and I don't know much more about it <laughs> than that. I learned it from um, a YouTuber called Tamahiro, um, and she had a really interesting breakdown of that and why the Gen 3 games are really cool. So I recommend watching that. It's a really cool uh, little dive into the real world stuff that inspires these games, which is really cool. Um, all right, so we are gonna pop a save here. Um, and it's interesting, um, here in this grass, you can catch some new Pokemon. I'm not really going to worry about running into them, because a lot of the trainers that we're about to fight, um, you can do that too. Um, you will see them, I should say. So this is a battle tent. I don't really do any of these, um, but we will encounter something like that later in our playthrough. So let's see here. Ah, yes! Here's where we talk to our good friend, Professor Professor Birch. He's just out searching for some Pokemon. He's wondering where May is. Um, and this is where we get to register our good friend Birch here. Which is wonderful. All right. Lovely. So, a couple of those new Pokemon we're actually going to get a nice taste of here. I'm going to let... Excuse me, I'm going to let Piccolo get in here. We should be able to get to level 16, which will get us to our next le uh, our evolution for Trico. All right. Do, 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 do. Okay, they have two of each. So these are two new Pokemon. They're kind of like the Pikachu clones of this region, um, which is kind of like a common thing that they do in every Pokemon game, is that they make kind of like an electric rodent that's like similar to Pikachu, very cute. Um, but here we have Plusle and Minin, and they're really interesting because they're like a play on the like positive and negative charge. Um, and they're two Pokemon made to kind of support each other in double battles, um, which is a really interesting concept. Um, let's see here. Plus and minus, that's cute. I know! Um, it's really delightful. And uh, you will encounter a lot of these um, 
kind of plus one mine, mine and double battles in your playthrough in Emerald specifically. And they always want to use this uh, move Helping Hand to help each other. The only problem is <laughs> they both use it sometimes in one turn and then they just end up not doing anything. Um, one thing I will do with Piccolo here, I don't know if, my, I don't think Mudslap's going to quite kill, oh it did kill, kill Plusle, we got the critical hit. Uh, but something I'll do with Piccolo is I will actually swap him out because I don't want him to get leveled up too much. We'll use a Mud Slap here uh, because if he gets leveled up too much, he'll go beyond the level we want him to be. We'll bring in Cloud. Um, Cloud is going to be a terrible matchup against Electric types because it is water and flying. Um, but if she gets knocked out, that's not a huge deal because we're not really worried about training her right now. But she is one of our stronger Pokemon. And as you can see here... Oops, I did not mean to use Growl. One little strategy that we're using is we are attacking the right side just all the time. Um, because that will make it so they can only use one Pokemon at a time. And that's something that you can really use to your advantage in double battles. Is you can double up to try to make it so that they have a... So you can get a two-on-one, basically. Honestly, Headbutt's probably going to do more damage. I know that Mud Slap is super effective. <laughs> and as you can see here, all their... There we go. It finally used a move other than Helping Hand. <laughs> all they're doing is just Helping Handing each other. Helping Handing. Um, and another reason to kind of avoid using... Um, uh, whatchamacallit? physical moves on electric Pokemon is that a lot of times they will have the ability static, which is a like, a, like effect spore, which I described with Shroomish, but uh, it can just paralyze you. Plusle and Minin don't have it because they have specific abilities, but there is another Pokemon that we will encounter called Electrike, um, and that pretty much always has static. I think it can have another ability, but oftentimes it'll have static. At least the ones that you fight against from NPCs. Um, so let's see. Okay, so we can take out this Minin, and now we're going to be two on one here. Um, and Piccolo might grow to level 16, which is something we want to see. Love it! Awesome. Trying to learn Pursuit. Very cool. Not incredibly useful right now. Hmm... Do I want to keep Leer, or do I want to teach him Pursuit? Um, I think we can get rid of Leer for now. I don't think that's going to be a huge deal for us. Um, it is nice to have a little bit of extra coverage. Pursuit isn't a super strong move. It's kind of situational. Um, but it's nice to have a little extra type coverage. Let's see. Okay. So we lowered the accuracy. I know Minin and Plus will learn the move Spark. I don't know if they know it right now. So Cloud might actually be in a pretty good spot. Um, uh, so in that case, I'm gonna see if we can bring in, uh, we'll bring in Fudge Cake. Maybe get them a few levels. Nice. <laughs> Switch right into the Thunder Wave. I will speed through just a little bit. Yeah, and some of these uh, kind of like Pokemaniacs or whatever they're called. I don't remember what they're called in this game. Um, but they will have berries on their Pokemon because they love their Pokemon so much. Uh, and that that's like a cool little like NPC detail that like the trainers that love their Pokemon so much will have berries on them. And like we encountered earlier, those like like rich boy or lady trainer class that are really rich, they will have a full restore to show that they have a lot of money and can spend it on their Pokemon. Cool little detail there as well. Um, okay, so finally we have this last plus. So we'll, speed, we'll speed through just a little bit. Um, let's see, because we've been battling them a while. And we're just kind of... Going through the motions here. Yeah, this plus will really can't do much to us right now other than paralyze us because um, I was saying that they have Spark later, which is a solid electric type move. 
but here they don't have it yet, so all they had is quick attack, and that was not going to do much to us. Poke Fan, that's what they're called here. I think there is a Pokemaniac trainer class, but here it's just, just Poke Fans. Ah, yes. Lovely. Ah, oh, such a cool Pokemon. Yes, your Piccolo evolved into Grovile. So sick. Oh yes, he tries to learn Fury Cutter. That was dope, JJ, you're so right. The evolution screen in this game might be the best one, honestly. Um, so I do like having Fury Cutter. I think it's a pretty cool move. I want to keep Absorb because I really like how we can heal off of it. And I want to keep Bullet Seed because it's like technically our strongest grass type move. Um, I might get rid of Pursuit. I don't really like Pursuit that much, and Fury Cutter could be situ more situationally useful. Um, and if we really want to teach something a dark type move, we do have that Thief TM. Um, so I think I'm going to get rid of Pursuit. And I'm a sucker for Fury Cutter. It's a Gen 2 move. You know. I just love it. Okay. Ah, yeah, so you can get her number here. All right, so we're going to pop back down here to Slateport, and we're going to heal off this paralysis. Um, let's see. Ugh. I really like the Hoenn region a lot. Um, Johto will always have my heart, but again... The Gen 3 engine, just like the engine that this game runs on, is so delightful to me. It just plays so well. Um, and here's a cool part of Slateport. If you go down here, there's kind of like a market, kind of like a farmer's market type thing. Um, what does this guy sell? Ooh, look at this. Ah. Oh, he doesn't sell anything. But I know some people sell berries and like... Ah, he sells uh, vitamins, which we don't want to spend money on that quite yet. I don't even know if we could afford it. What does she sell? Uh, okay. Ah, so she'll give us uh, a nice something something if we're more friendly with our first party slot. Ah, he'll sell Poke Dolls. Look at those cute little dolls. Ah, Azuril is actually a new evolution for Meryl and um, Azumarill. It's like a baby. It's a baby Pokemon, which is really cute. Look at that Meryl. Look at that Skitty. It's a little cat. We I, I don't actually think we have seen Skitty yet. Um, you can catch them up by Rustboro City. Speed just a little bit here. You can catch them up by Rustboro City, um, but we have not seen one in battle yet. I actually think we will in due course here. So I don't remember. Oh, yeah. So here, as you can see above us, is Cycling Road. And we don't have a bike, so we can't get up there yet. So we kind of have to use this low road that has some grass, which is a really nice little little detail. And here is something called the Trick House. We're not going to go in there quite yet, but we are going to pop in there at some point in our playthrough. Now, let's see. For now, I'm going to go over here. Um, and there's a battle or two that we can get into on our way to the next city. Um, we're gonna fight this fella. I'm pretty sure there's an item or two in those little spots where there's grass, like a little hidden item. I feel like in this game, honestly in a lot of games, they kind of telegraph where some hidden items are gonna be because they'll just be like a random rock out by itself or like a little spot in the grass um, that doesn't have anything. And it really just kind of, like I said, telegraphs where those hidden items are going to be. I think we found a super potion over by Rustboro City that way. Awesome. Love to see the accuracy drop pay off. Um, not there, though. And that does a little more damage because Metal Claw is super effective against rock, um, but not very effective against steel. So it is neutral on our boy Ron here. Ah, Electrike. Okay, this will be nice to show off Electrike. Um, we'll stay in with Ron here to start. Lovely. So, 
Here is Electri. It's a cool, like, little electric dog. Um, I, th I always thought it looked kind of weird. I do like this Pokemon, though. Um, and this is, like, a big Pokemon for this area of the game. Um, because you're going to see soon the next gym leader that we go up against is going to be an electric-type gym leader. Alrighty. And I'm kind of glad that we have invested some experience in our boy Cloud because our rival's ace Pokemon is going to be very tough for both Ron and Piccolo to fight. Um, but for now, let's... Ugh, oh, the last little bit of grass. Another Poochina. Let's get out of here. Perfect. Okay. So before we go up there, because like I said, there's a rival fight up there, and it is a tough one. So before we get into that, um, we're going to get into some other battles over here. Oop, don't want to give. Got a new pickup item from our boy Ziggy. A nice antidote. Love to see it. All right. This woman has a Pokemon I believe we have not seen yet either. Uh, we have Shroomish to start. Okay. Uh, we might get a taste of effect spore here. Yeah, this isn't going to be great on Fudge Cake. Okay, good. No effect spore. Um, but for now, I'm going to swap into Piccolo. Because something Shroomish likes to use is Leech Seed, and I don't think it will affect other grass types. Um, I'm going to see if I can get a Fury Cutter going. Because the bug type move is super effective against Shroomish. And we might be able to get it to stack nicely. Love it. Okay, that's two. Uh, the, I think the max it can stack is three. Stun Spore is terrible, though, because we might lose our streak on Fury Cutter. Come on. Come on. And we lost it. Hate to see it. But that's okay. Quick Attack should do the trick. There we go. And we can get a nice level on Fudge Cake, which is good. Ah, I'm going to learn Vital Throw. Um, fudge Cake could really come in handy against our next opponent um, at the Electric Gym. So we might want to give him a level or two if we can. All right, and here is a, a cool new Pokemon for Generation 3. It is Roselia. We're going to let Cloud get in here use that Wing Attack. And it's kind of what it sounds like. Ah, oh, cute little, cute little lady with the nice little rose hands. <laughs> Not very good hands, um, but it's a really cool Pokemon. Um, it actually gets two evolutions, one before and one after, in the next generation. Um, but in this generation, it's just a single form Pokemon. You can just catch Roselia, and uh, that's what it stays. Um, but it's a cool Pokemon. I really like it. You'll encounter it a lot in your playthroughs here in Gen 3. Um, and you can actually catch one up by the next city. Um, and this part of the game is kind of annoying because you really run into a lot of spots where you can get paralyzed. Um, something that I will do... We'll heal off really quick. Um, let's pop up here. Sorry to use some speed up, but I just want to kind of get us back where we were. Great. Um, so there are a few more trainer fights over here. I'm just going to stick with this one for now. Um, Fudge Cake and Ron should be good here. Um, because I want to show you the next rival fight that we have with our, with our friend May. Um... And that encounter with Professor Birch kind of like, uh, what's the word, foreshadows that a little bit. We'll use that nice, powerful vital throw. Um, the next fight with May or Brendan um, underneath Cycling Road in this game is kind of known as one of the more um, daunting rival fights in Pokemon. Just... The way that they relatively have her team um, 
powered up for this point in the game and for where your team is going to be. Um, it's just one of the more powerful rival fights in any Pokemon game. Um, so it can be really tough, and she might smoke us. Because um, like I said, we don't have great matchups. It's gonna, it's probably going to function a lot like um, Brawly did, where we're going to have to really have a team effort. Um, but I'm excited. It'll be fun. After after this, we'll give it a we'll give it a try and see what happens. Uh, is that gonna kill it? Not quite. So we gotta use one more move on this here mining. Yeah, and like I said, we're gonna see that plus little mining combo a lot from some of our NPCs here. Um, yep. Da, da, ba, da, ba, da. All right. It's true. I'll show you next time. Um, all right. Oop. Ah, so yes, we're starting to get some calls from some of our other trainer friends that we... She actually was the one that just called us. Um, that we run into. Um, and I'm trying to... Let me see here. Because I kind of described to you how there will be like a little Pokeball next to someone if they want to fight again. Um... It'll definitely be something I can show off later in the game. Um, because utilizing those little rematches um, can be a really great way um, to get some experience late in the game if you need it. And I also love how just some of those random NPC trainers that you fight can um, get stronger canonically, which is really neat. Um, do I have any repels? Let's see. I have two. Use one right now. Yeah, and in this route, you'll see a lot of Plusle and Mine, and you'll see a lot of Electrike. Um, there's a new Pokemon called Gulpin that's kind of interesting. It's a poison type that you can encounter on this route, um, but we'll see it. So right up around here is where we're going to see our rival. So I am going to swap out, I believe... She's going to start with a Lombre, which is the evolved form of Lotad. So I'm going to start with our boy Piccolo. Okay. Let's see. Let's see how we do. Hi, SCG. Long time no see. While I was searching for other Pokemon, my Pokemon grew stronger. So how about a little battle? Um, like I said, this can be really tough. Um, we'll see how we do. And she... Ah, she starts with a Wingull. So not a good matchup for our boy Piccolo. Um, but I'm gonna see what a Bullet Seed can do. Because I feel like her other Pokemon might be a Slugma at this point. Mm. No, it's not gonna be a Slugma. She's gonna have a Fire-type. Um, Cause that's her starter. Uh, let's see. An Absorb will take me just over half. So another Wing Attack shouldn't kill me. There we go. Alright. So something I'm going to do here is I... Ooh, not going to use bag. I started with the wrong Pokemon, which is devastating. Um, so I'm just going to go into Ziggy. And we're going to see what we can do with Ziggy. Might just kind of be sacrificed. The sacrificial lamb or the sacrificial uh, raccoon, if you will. That's okay. Nothing too crazy. Um, and like I said, we actually have <laughs> terrible matchups for this fight. Um, I'm going to go into Ron, which Ron isn't a great matchup with that water gun. Okay, love to see a supersonic miss. <laughs> Godspeed. Thank you, JJ. Um, okay, that is great. Because um, water gun was going to mess us up. But I really need to save Cloud for one of her other Pokemon. Let's see. Okay, Combuskin. This is what I was worried about. Um, so Combuskin's a very good Pokemon, um, as you're going to see here. It is the evolved form of Torchic, her starter. Whoo! It is a fighting chicken. It is a fire fighting type, which is fire is terrible against our Grovile, is terrible to use against our Grovile. Um, for us, terrible for us. <laughs> it's good for her. <laughs> And uh, fighting is going to be four times super effective against our boy Ron. So um, 
Not great. And this Combuskin comes with the move Double Kick. Whoa! That did way too much damage on a critical hit. That did way too much damage for a normal hit, if you're asking me. Gosh. Oh, okay. Critical hit of our own. Love to see it. Um, don't kill us! Crap! Um, okay. So, here I'm gonna go into our boy Fudge Cake, because even though Peck is going to be super effective, we should live one. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, awesome. Getting past Combuskin is gonna, is like the big thing. Um... Just being at level 20, it has a lot of good coverage moves, like the flying-type peck. It has double kick, the fighting move. Um, it's just really strong for this point in the game, and that's why this rival fight is notoriously tough. Okay, so for Lombre, we're going to be doing okay. I don't think it has any water moves here. It might know Water Gun. Um, it is the evolved form of Lotad, like I described. It's very, it's very ugly. <laughs> um... Okay, it does have this move Nature Power, which what Nature Power does is it uses a move based on the environment that it's in. Um, if it's just on normal ground, Nature Power will just be Swift. Um, but in other situations, if, like, if you're in a cave, it could be Shadow Ball or Earthquake, I think, um, which is really cool. And even though this Absorb is going to be decent on a run, our damage from Headbutt is probably going to outpace it, especially if it goes back to Swift. So we should we should be fine now. Um, whew, I'm really glad we got the, that extra level on our boy uh, Fudge Cake, <laughs> because we would have been screwed otherwise. All right. There we go. One of the toughest rival fights in Pokemon. We... Get a first try victory. Love to see it. Awesome. Yikes, you're better than I expected. Honestly, that went better than I expected, May. Um, you've been busy training too, haven't you? I think you deserve a reward. So she gives us an item finder. Um, this is a item that I think is in Gen 1. Um, and it can just help you find items that are not visible on the ground. Um, I have never really used it in this game, if I'm being honest. Um, but uh, we're going to go back and heal now, gang. Um, so some of those trainers that are down, that are over to the left there, um, I'm probably going to save for when we get some of our more permanent team members. Um, kind of like I did for Ron in the trainers over by Rust Bro City. Um, I always like, if I don't need to fight all of the trainers in an area, I always like to have some in my back pocket. Um, just because if I need to catch some Pokemon up in levels, it's always way more fun for me to fight, um, the trainers that are there rather than, um, just wild Pokemon to kind of catch up, catch up some levels. Um, we're going to start with Fudge Cake because again, I want to have just one other Pokemon kind of good to go. For the next gym, I'll use our last repel. We should be able to pick up some more repel in our next city. Let's see. I'm looking at all these little things for our hidden items. I know that there's one or two on this route. Okay. There's one. A great ball. We are rewarded for our diligence. Okay. Um, so here's a nice... And there's totally not a hidden item right there. <laughs> There's not two trainers guarding the area for whatever reason. Okay, we'll go with them. Love to see it. Ooh. Creepy music here with that guy. And this guy's got cool music. Lovely. Um, ooh, guitarist Joseph. He's shirtless. He's radical, man. Um, we are most definitely going to get hit with some paralysis here, but that's okay. Because we really only have physical moves to hit this Electric. Ah, yes! Um, this is a use of nature power where if you are in grass, um, Lombre can use Stun Spore. Which again, just 
Super interesting. I love it. Oh, nice! Wow, that did so much damage. Awesome job, Fudge Cake. Alright, so now we're both paralyzed. I knew we were going to get paralyzed here. That's just how it is. But it does make Stun Spore ineffective. Love to see that. Dude. Yeah, really, all the way up from, like, the beach in Slateport. Oh, wow, I didn't fight any of those trainers down there. Um, that's so interesting. Um, yeah, we'll come back to them later, again, like I said, when we get some new, uh, new squad members. Um, let's use Vital Throw. That was a really good move. Um, we'll use that on Voltorb here, and then there we go. Um, Vital Throw is a really good move, and that's what makes Brawly so tough at the time you fight him. Alright, great. Get that critical hit to make sure we knock out Lombre. Does this person have a Nuzleaf? They do! I don't think we've seen Nuzleaf yet. Nuzleaf's a very interesting Pokemon. Um, it is the evolution of C Dot. Oh, nice critical hit. Fudge Cake is just looking beefy right now. Um, it is a Grass Dark type. Um, and it actually evolves into a really cool Pokemon that we'll encounter later in our playthrough. Um, but a lot of these trainers have Nuzleafs. We are just Crit City, guys. This is looking great. Um, but yeah, so remind me <laughs> if I forget that once we kind of get more members of our, more permanent members of our squad, we'll go back and fight a lot of those trainers on the beach. Um, we'll fight a lot of trainers. Ooh, a revive. I think that's our first revive. Um, we'll go fight some of those trainers around Slateport. Um, there are actually some trainers in the Trick House as well, so we are just sitting pretty as far as trainers go. I got another double battle, so this is kind of kind of take us to the next area. I might let Ziggy get a level or two, especially because those other two are paralyzed. Ah, yes, there's the Psychic Trainer class in this game, which is really interesting. This person fell off Cycling Road? Are you okay? Oh my gosh. She's a real triathlete. Ah, uh, yes. Abra's not going to really be able to do much to us here. Um, I'm going to try to use Fury Cutter against this Abra. Try to get it nice and stacked. Because th these two... Oh, thanks, Brody. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate that. Um, good to see you. Yeah, sorry, it is a little bit of an early stream today. I just didn't really have much, um, much time this weekend, so I was, I'm, I'm glad I was able to squeeze one in. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit of a weird time. Thanks for stopping in, dude. I appreciate it. Um, so, but yeah, we, uh, we actually were able to first try Victory the Rival Fight here under Cycling Road, which I was really happy about. Um... And uh, now we're making our way to uh, Marvel City. Um, I might need to switch Piccolo out, Piccolo out here. Even though getting the stacked Fury Cutter is nice. Because I think Fury Cutter number 4 and 5 should do a pretty good job of doing damage on this Magnemite if we can get it. Great. There we go. One more will do the trick. Even though it's still not very effective. Alright, do not paralyze me. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Okay, great. I'm very surprised that we have not gotten hit with a static yet, though. And there we go. Wow, it's so rare that you get, like, a five-turn... <laughs> Thanks, Brody. You get, like, a five... A nice five-turn Fury Cutter like that. Ah, oh, so he's relearning Pursuit. I forgot about that. He kind of relearns Pursuit. No, I like Fury Cutter. We're gonna keep Fury Cutter. And they're both super effective against uh, Psychic types. There we go. Love to see it. Um, okay, so we can snag this item here. Ooh, a nice elixir. Love to see it. Okay. Yes, I knew that there was at least one more hidden item in these little grass spots. All right. Oh, perfect timing on the repel. So we can fight that guy, but again, we'll save him for now. Pick all these Mamab berries. I don't even remember what these do. Let's see. 
character. <laughs> Piccolo really wants Pursuit. I don't know, maybe I'll have to go to the move relearner. Um, I actually don't remember if there's a move relearner in Generation 2. This might be the first generation that has one. Um, ah, so uh, Nanav Berries. They are a Poke Block ingredient, and that's something that we are going to run into later. Um, uh, later in the game, you can get something called the Poke Block Case, and you can make these things called Poke Blocks with your berries, um, and they will do something for your Pokemon that we will talk about later. That's going to become relevant later in our playthrough. So here we are in Marvel City. It is the third um, city that has a gym. Um, here we have the electric type gym, which is very cool. Um, who is here? Ah, uh, yes. She wants you to deliver mail to somebody, which I don't really care about doing. But if you want to, you can in your playthrough. Ah, uh, yes. I hear people call me the Rock Smash guy, but I find that sort of degrading. <laughs> I like Rock Smash dude. Um, okay. So he gives us the HM for Rock Smash. Um, which is going to be very important to um, progress through the game. Um, but we need the third gym, gym badge to do that. Here, we're going to do some item management. We have, I know we have a Stardust. Yes, we're going to sell that. And we'll sell the Dire Hit because I never use those. Great. Oh, I'll sell an X-Speed as well because I never use that as well. Great. Um... And I want to get some more repels, if there are any. Ah, there actually are not at this mart. That's kind of annoying. But I'll get some super potions while I'm at it. I'll get four. There we go. A couple great balls. Nice. Doing great. Um, so, again, Rock Smash is going to be important to progress through the game. But let me go ahead and teach it to somebody. Um, a fighting move would be good for our boy Fudge Cake, but I'm just going to go ahead and teach it to Ziggy for now. Um, just so that another Pokemon can have a fighting type move. Um, and again, Ziggy is a Pokemon that you really like to teach some HMs to. Because again, it's not going to be on our final team, but it's really going to help us progress through the game. At least initially. Um, ah, this is important. Hold on, let me, let me heal at the Pokemon Center first. Um, because we got those fellas that are paralyzed. Um, <laughs> uh, you get a free repel by not using deodorant. That is a great point, Brody. You're full of life hacks and wisdom, I must say. Um, all right, so this is the bike shop, which is really interesting. Um, in Generation 2, if you remember, you get a bike basically for free just by advertising. And in Generation 1, you needed the bike voucher. And in this game... He just gives you one out of the kindness of his heart, which, I mean, hey, go Rydell the bike guy. Well, well, what do we have here? A most energetic customer. Me? You may call me Rydell. I'm the owner of this cycle shop. Your running shoes, they're awfully filthy. Did you come from far away? Yes. You're saying you came all this way from Little Root? That, that's ridiculously far. Ah, so then he just gives you a bike. And this is cool. He gives you a choice between two kinds of bikes. There is the mock bike that can go really fast and the acro bike that can do kind of like tricks. Um, and it's really interesting. If you remember in Granite Cave, there was kind of like this little uh, kind of like mudslide thing that we couldn't go up. But with the mock bike, you can ride fast enough that you can shoot up those. Um, it's a really cool, not platforming mechanic, but like a progression mechanic. There's some cool secret areas you can get um, with each bike. I'm gonna pick the mock bike for now. Um, and another really cool thing with Rydell here is that if you want to switch bikes, you can just talk to him and he'll just give you the other bike. Um, so it's a really cool way to access some hidden areas in the game. Um, and like, let me show you here. This mock bike, let's go to key items and I'll register you. So I hit select and look how fast you go. You're zooming, zooming. Uh, very cool. Um, and yeah, there are some battles over here that you could see. Um, and now, if you look here, oh, is that our old friend Wally I see? 
What's he doing here? Let's check in. Let's check in on him. Oh, Uncle, please, I want to challenge this gym and see how much better I've become. I forgot this was his voice. Please, may I please? Now hold on, Wally. Since you started living with Pokemon, you've grown quite a lot stronger. But don't you think you're pushing it to suddenly challenge a gym? I'm not pushing it! If I combine forces with Ralts, I can beat anyone! Oh, hi, SCG. I've gotten a lot stronger since we met. Um, SCG, I want you and my uncle to understand that. Will you please have a battle with me? Um, great. So here we have a battle with... Wally. Um, and he really wants to show off how much stronger he's become. He's a little he's a little less meek and mild, he wants to prove, you know? Um, but the only problem is, all he's got is this level 16 Ralts. Um, <laughs> wonderful and terrifying acting performance. Hey, you know, um, I, I'm just trying to be consistent. I stumbled upon that horrifying Wally voice. <laughs> in a previous episode. I'm just being, just being consistent. Oh my goodness. How does he stay in business? He gives out free bikes. Oh, I should use that at my next audition. You're so right. I'll definitely get the part then. Um, that's so funny. Um, one annoying thing about this Ross is it does like to use double team. Um, but... It's not going to be too much trouble for us because Ross is a pretty frail Pokemon. It's got these good psychic moves like Confusion. Um... But Ron resists that, so we're feeling, we're sitting pretty. And as you can see, we pretty easily dispatch our friend Wally. Um, ooh, Iron Defense. Um, I think we do have Harden. Yeah, we'll upgrade Harden. Um, Iron Defense is like Harden, it just raises your defense by two stages. Which is not something we're going to use often, because Ron has really high defense to begin with. Um, but... Yeah, we really kind of crushed Wally's dreams here. <laughs> I lost. <laughs> um, uh, Uncle, I'll go back to Verdant Turf. Thank you. Being a trainer is tough, isn't it? I'm not. A, it's not enough to have Pokemon and make them battle. That isn't what being a real trainer is about. Yeah. So Wally's just—he's just learning to be a trainer, and he's just like, you know what? I'm starting to understand. I got—I just gotta put more effort in, you know. Um, but Wally, Wally's a good dude. Wally, Wally's a solid, solid fella. I like our boy Wally. Um, ah, yes, and here comes Scott again. I was watching that match. This guy, he is a little bit creepy, when you really think about it. Um, but you didn't hold anything back and beat him impressively. That's what a real Pokemon battle's about. I idolize trainers like that. I'll be cheering for you, he says cryptically. Um... I'm really excited to show you what Scott's whole deal is. Um, that'll be really exciting. But, folks, with that, we're kind of uh, coming up on my time. I think that's a good stopping point. Um, we were able to get here to Marvel City. We were able to defeat our rival. I was very happy about that. First try victory. Um, and it's nice to have, like I said, all those trainers in my back pocket um, in case we need them. But next time, we should be able to challenge the gym here in... Marvel City. Um, like I said, I actually have my audition tomorrow, so we usually stream Yu-Gi-Oh! on Mondays, but um, we'll see what I do. I might just go straight into Emerald later in the week. Maybe I'll push the Yu-Gi-Oh! stream back. I don't know. Um, life happens. We'll see, what, we'll see what we do. But if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, I salute you. Thank you. Um, I don't say this a lot, so like and subscribe if you want. If you're this deep in the video, you probably enjoyed it generally, <laughs> right? Um, but thanks, folks. I will see you all next time. Peace out.